Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Twee and we are in the beauty studio. I say beauty studio, I'm in like the makeshift, trying to make it work studio right now. It is kind of all over the place. I literally have one light source, which is a ring light in front of me right now. Normally I have like my whole studio set up with my big camera, but we're filming on the vlogging camera, which is balancing on a box in front of me, okay? It's all an illusion up in here. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've just sat down, done a bit of makeup you guys, chatted, gave you guys a life update, a little girl talk video. So in today's video I really wanted to film like a chatty get ready with me. I've literally been living out of this one makeup bag and I haven't got a chance to just try all the latest products in the makeup industry recently. So I also have a couple of questions and assumptions that you guys had about me. So I thought it'd be nice to do like a chatty Q&A while we're getting ready together. So if you guys want to see what my current and everyday makeup routine is along with a little assumptions about me please keep watching <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, okay, I was gonna skip a video this week. I feel like my life has just been so all over the place and time's just going by so quickly that I'm like, I just uploaded a YouTube video and now I have to worry about next week's YouTube video and I have no video ideas. I'm here grinding on a Sunday morning, okay? This product just come in the post and I was like, oh, this is so exciting. This is the Ultra Glow All Nighter Face Primer. Okay, oh, this feels nice. It makes my skin look super hydrated. Oh my God, my back background is so dark right now because it's such a gloomy day outside how is it june and so freaking gloomy god damn look what is going on mother nature oh this is nice it leaves your skin really nice and tacky oh this might be my new primer guys i like it it's been so long since i tried out any new foundations and there was a point where foundations were just coming out left right and center but now i'm bored again i want some newness i got sent these two foundation they're two different shades it's from samir kuzami again i hope i'm saying his name right i'm so sorry if i'm butchering it but how nice is this foundation box so bougie look at this Ooh. okay so this is called the divine matte liquid foundation so i'm really glad that i used a more hydrating primer and now i'm going to go in for more of a matte foundation so i've got sent two shades one is is SK25 and the darker one is SK30. I'm gonna crack its virginity. Oh, SK25. Oh, that looks a little bit light actually. Okay, let's go over SK30. First impressions, it looks like it's gonna be full coverage, but it's actually quite thin, the formula, which is really nice. Oh, I've got such bad hay fever. So if I'm like, hmm, it's because of the pollen, okay? Okay, SK30 is definitely more my shade. It's even still a little bit too light. YOLO, let's just go with it. Also, guys, do not mind my nails, okay? This is the epitome of a girl that's been decorating a house, trying to move boxes, organizing, and all my nails just snapped off. I haven't had a chance to go to a nail salon yet. This is just laugh. You know when laugh just gets you, this, this is just laugh. Okay, so on my Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me any juicy assumptions. If you guys have any questions you guys want to ask, just to get to know me more. So I'm going to be answering the questions while I'm doing my makeup. It's not really going to be a makeup video. Okay, so the first question is from my girl Candy. Can I just take a second here? You have just been riding with me since like day dot. Your support has just never been unnoticed. Like I just had to say thank you so much for just being with me for this long of a journey. I feel like you're always showing so much support, always commenting. You're just my girl, okay? So she made an assumption saying that you struggle to believe in yourself slash your talent, but I believe in you. Oh, girl. This question just really like, mm, it hits home to me because for the longest time, I never believed in myself. I always thought like, oh my God, I will never be able to do that. Or, oh my God, she's able to do that, but I'm not nearly as pretty as her. I'm not nearly as talented as her. And I've always kind of like struggled with that internally. I'm like a Gemini. One moment I'm like, I can do anything I set my mind to. Probably the way that I've been brought up, I've definitely noticed I'm quite a pessimistic person. So I always see the glass half empty. I'm always the quickest person to kind of notice if anything is wrong, if it needs to be corrected. I'm very much harsh on myself. I feel like this is something that is like a double edged sword because sometimes I feel like it kind of drives me to keep going and it motivates me to not be complacent and to not just float by in life, to always 
push and strive to want more. It's also like a double-edged sword because sometimes I feel like I struggle to live in the moment and to appreciate what I have now and to be proud of myself on everything that I've achieved. But then there's also so many other times that I'm like, oh my God, I should have been doing this. I should have done this. I wish I'd done this sooner. So I feel really like, like this all the time, like, you know, I always feel like I could be doing more. And recently I've been really struggling with this because I've been so distant on social media as well. I say distant. I haven't been distant because I've still been posting, you know, consistently on YouTube. This is why I'm grinding out this video because I don't have a video for Wednesdays. But then on my Instagram and on my TikTok, I've just been not as active on there every day. Like there was a point in my life that I would post twice a day. Like I remember when I first come out of my surgery, when I had my nose and my eyes and my whole face done basically. I remember when I was in Malaysia, I set an alarm at four in the morning to make sure I wake up in the middle of the night and I post because that was the time that my engagement was the highest. And I was just so dedicated at that point in my life, I do kind of miss that drive that I had for Instagram. That drive definitely took me to where I am now. Without that kind of dedication, without that kind of drive, I definitely feel like I wouldn't have been able to grow as fast as I did. However, I do feel like Instagram is like a whole new place now. It's like I'm trying to navigate something that is just growing and growing and growing. And I feel like sometimes I get left behind. It's really hard with social media because you always have to be evolving. You can't keep doing the same old shit all the time. There's just like a whole new age of social media with TikTok, with being more real and being like unfiltered. I'm still trying to navigate where I am. Like I'm no longer just doing makeup videos all the time. You know, I've kind of grown out of that stage now and that's quite like a hard pill to swallow because that's where I kind of made my career by doing daily Instagram videos. And now that I'm not doing that no more, I do feel like, oh my God, what am I doing now? But then there also is another thing of like, I want to show more lifestyle. I just want to show more of me and my personality. I I don't know I feel like I'm more than just makeup and that's why I feel like on YouTube I've been able to be so consistent because I just love sharing my life for you guys whereas on Instagram I find it quite hard because you know I'm moving houses I'm not wearing makeup every day I'm looking like a tramp most of the time like my hair it's not been brushed okay and I just feel like I kind of pigeonholed myself into makeup and of course I love makeup like I'm never ever gonna not love makeup like every single time I put makeup I feel like a badass bitch I want to get on Instagram and flaunt but then sometimes I just want to be a bum and just want to chat and I I feel like yeah Instagram stories kind of allows me to do that a little bit on the main feed of Instagram I feel like I just kind of don't know what I'm doing because I created a home account and right now in my life I just want to talk about home stuff I just want to talk about things that I'm actually getting up to and damn this foundation is nice by the way god damn my skin looks flawless I just feel like my life's just all over the place right now that I'm finding it quite hard to balance everything who has watched too hot to handle okay I feel like I'm cam one side is YouTube, one side is social media life, one side is bonding with my family, one side is balancing my home account, one side is spending time with my boyfriend. I feel like I've got like 10 million plates I'm trying to juggle. More of the story is I do definitely struggle to believe in myself, but then I also know that it's in me and whatever I want to achieve, if I put my all into it and if I keep manifesting, I keep working little by little every single day, I know I'll be able to achieve it. But right now, I just feel like I'm balancing so many things and it's really hard because I'm trying to please everyone one but am I pleasing myself I'm gonna leave it at that okay so the next question is you are a perfectionist and sometimes people mistake this for you being bossy or controlling I definitely wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist there's certain things that I am perfectionist about like I'm quite particular about certain things I definitely am more of like a slap dash type of person like if you guys have been following my vlogs you guys would have seen like the differences between me and Grant like he's so particular about focusing on one thing whereas I am better at multitasking a couple of things and even though it's not done to like its fullest potential as long as it's done I'm okay with it there's certain things that I'm like no that has to be right but I'm definitely not a perfectionist about everything I'd rather everything get done to an okay standard than getting only one thing done and then everything else is like not done at all however I know I'm definitely quite a bossy person and I can be quite controlling it's something that I definitely need to grow within myself on how to be a bit less controlling as my business grows as my company grows i want to hire like a pa i want to hire an editor i want to hire like more people to keep this company going and people learn at different rates i have to learn that not everyone is going to do things the way that i want it to be done okay so i'm going to use a contour stick this is from makeup by mario i've actually been using this quite a lot recently it's been really really nice i'm using this in the shade medium 
So recently in the last couple of months, I've hired like a new manager, my third manager now. And I've definitely been struggling with that kind of side of things on just trusting people. I've just been traumatized and I've had such bad experiences with old managers in the past that anyone that I hire onto my team, as soon as I don't like something, I never voice my opinion. I just kind of like hold everything on the inside and I just kind of say things to Graham, just talking to my sister about things or telling my friends about things, but I actually don't address the situation head on and tell the person that actually needs to know how I feel. I don't want to hurt people's feelings and I hate conflict as well so I end up internalising everything inside and then I just end up having a breakdown and be like no I can't do it no more and you're fired basically. <laughs> that should not be the way that I handle things. I need to be able to talk and be able to let people do things the way that they do things. Just because they do things different to the way that I would do things doesn't mean that they're doing a bad job. Also this is regarding me and Graham as well. Like, I would always like sit down when we was editing together back at my old house I would just sit there and just watch the way that he do things and I'd be like why would you do like that why didn't you do it like this it just makes things so much more efficient I just realized that that is not helping anyone because unfortunately people just do things differently and I just need to suck it up because as long as it's done at the end of the day I can't be that controlling bitch because at the end of the day they're the ones that I'm hiring to help me with my business and there's no point of me doing everything because I can't do everything I need to be able to pass on a job let them get on with things and then just see what the end result is and if I like the end result then I just need to leave it at that you know next assumption is you can be very calm and quiet when you're upset it depends on what day it is I'm gonna use this blush from made by Mitchell it's in the shade called Sweet Cheeks. I've been so into blusher recently, guys. It's my new thing. It just makes you look so healthy and vibrant. If I'm feeling angry, I'm definitely not a quiet person. I have to let out my anger. I have to speak about it. I can't just let it like manifest inside me. I'm the type of person to be really open and honest and I wear my feelings on my sleeve, which gets me in so much trouble sometimes. A lot of times I feel like as long as I let it out, I feel like a big weight has lifted on my shoulders. Like if Grant ever annoys me or ever pisses me off, I have to say things then and there. And that's definitely caused a lot of problems in our relationship, let me tell you, because sometimes not everything needs to be said, okay? I'm also using this Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Stick in the shade Pale Petal. It's a really cute blush shade. I like to lay it on my blushes, you know? When I'm upset, Girl, I just like to cry. I like to cry all out and I could definitely be more quiet and more reserved and I definitely won't be on social media that day. But normally by the next day, I always wake up with like, oh, okay, it's a new day now, it's a new fresh start. I definitely don't like to fester on things. I feel like as soon as I lay it out, that's it now. No more bad voodoo, no more bad energy up in here. So yeah, it kind of depends on what day you get me really. Okay, I'm using my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 18. I've literally been loving this concealer recently. I think it's the shade that I like more than anything Thing. So the next question is, how do you have so much confidence and can I have some? I don't know if I would say that I'm really confident. When I was younger, I used to be so mute. I used to have a lot of social anxiety. But now I kind of got to the point in my life now where I just am what I am. Take it or leave it, you know. I'm not going to change for anyone. This is just who I am. I don't think I'm a bad person. So... I definitely feel like that is something to be confident about. I feel like just being open, that's allowed me to be a lot more confident because the more you open up, the more people will be attracted to you. I was watching Patrick Starr the other day and he says this quote, life opens up when you do. And I was just like, yeah, life really does open up when you do. Like when I was a closed person, when I didn't talk to people about how I felt, I didn't get much back. I definitely felt like I was in my own head a lot. I wasn't as confident, but now that I'm just just more open I'm opening up to you guys I'm talking more about the feelings that I feel that makes me feel more confident because it makes me feel that I'm not alone and so many of you guys can relate to me as well so that gives me more confidence you know oh my god I'm on such a chatty mood today I'm like da -da 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 -da. And it's 25 minutes already I'm using this new powder as well from Samir Kuzami I feel like I'm saying his name different every single time. This is in the shade SK02. Ooh, my mirror is so far away that I would have no idea if this looks crusty and musty from up close, but from afar it looks great. I'm gonna go in with Jaclyn Hill's loose blusher in the shade Loverboy. Okay, so I have another assumption here. It's quite juicy, this one. Oh God. You feel the need to have a grand extravagant house to impress people. 
Do you know what? I'm going to be so honest. Like, when I was looking at houses, I just had this vision that I had in my head about the house tour. If anyone has known me for a long time, I've always said that one of my goals in life is to have an amazing house. A lot of houses, actually, when I went to go for viewings, I would know within, like, 10 seconds of walking inside this house that this is not the one. Even just driving down the street, you just have this impression of, like, you can't see yourself living here. And I always kind of looked at every single house and I've always imagined, like, can I do my official house tour here of course i want to impress you guys you know of course i want you to look at things and be like wow that's so cool really i feel like it's to impress myself and to watch back that video of my official house tour and be like wow like i live here and i created this for myself and you know i wasn't handed anything like a lot of people you know maybe you might have had like a little hand me down from your parents or you know might have had a little chunk of money given to you by your parents but no like i've done everything for myself wanted to be able to look at my house and be like i achieved this you know that like, i'm not a type of person that ever spends money on myself buying things for myself that's when i feel like such a waste of money i don't want to spend on myself and there's definitely been times where i look around and be like i have nothing to show for for all the hard work that I have put in. So when it came to buying a house, that's why it was so important for me to get somewhere that was one, big enough so I don't have to move out in a couple of years. I want something that I could grow into and also something that is nice, you know? I want to be able to look around and be like, I worked hard for this. So yes, I kind of do want to impress people at the same time, but really I want to impress myself if I'm completely honest. To be able to, you know, take a photo anywhere that I want, to be able to not be self-conscious of what's in the background or oh my god it looks so ugly back there I don't want to like take a photo I don't want to vlog there I want to be able to have a house that I'm really proud about you can call that I guess impressing other people I guess because that kind of comes with my job but it's more so for me to feel confident in just showing my life. I don't think this house is that extravagant. I feel like this house is a really nice house, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely nicer than like the average house, I guess, but I definitely don't feel like it's one of those millionaire house, like a big acre at the back or anything like that, you know? I'm using this highlighter palette in the shade Medium Glow Obsession from Huda Beauty. So nice, this has been my go-to highlighter palette and every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go do my eyebrows off camera. This is the palette I'm gonna use. Look at this crusty palette! This is the Benefit Medium Deep eyebrow palette. I've lost the lid and everything, but I'm still carrying on using it, okay? Okay, so my eyebrows are on. They look nice and thick and luscious. I've done them extra thick today. I'm just gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow base. I'm not gonna do anything crazy today because I'm literally just filming this video and then I'm about to go and start cooking. So it's just gonna be like a light little shindig on my face. Okay, the next assumption is you're quite a cuddly person. Oh girl, I am definitely not a cuddly person. I actually really struggle showing physical affection. It's something that never ever like crosses my mind to do. I kind of get a bit awkward when people are showing PDA in front of me, like when people are kissing in front of me. When I'm out in public and I see like couples like snogging each other's faces off, I'm like, ah, it's a bit awkward, you know? I wish me and Gran were more of like a cuddly couple. Like we hold hands and stuff like that. We're not like always right next to each other, like holding each other and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know if it's because we brought up in an Asian household and that just wasn't something we was brought up doing. To my family, we never ever say like, I love you. We never really cuddle each other. We never hug each other. I definitely feel like I'm more of an act of service type of person. Like you need me to do anything for you. I'm here. That's the way that I show love. If you need a gift, if there's something that I think that you would like, I'll probably buy it for you. The actual physical affection and words of affirmation and stuff like that, I am terrible at it. So yeah, that's something I could probably start working on to be honest, because I know that's quite important to some people. Okay, so it is Pride Month. I know we're coming to the end of June, but I do feel like it's really important to also show your support for the Pride community. I'm gonna use this palette from Morphe. It's called Live With Love, and it's so freaking pretty. Look at this. Such a nice Pride palette. And I do feel like some brands, they just put together like just any old rainbow kind of palette and just call it pride and try to make money off this time of year but i definitely feel like this palette is actually like a really well thought out palette which is really really nice another assumption is you are not into makeup as much as you used to be i definitely still love makeup that's for sure i probably would say that i'm not into it as much as i was when i first started makeup because that was just 
my life you know i only had makeup to look forward to that was the only thing that kind of made me feel confident especially because it was such a big part of my life that like, i was a makeup artist for six years of my life that was the only thing that like made me feel like i stood out because i always kind of knew that i was quite good at makeup blending and applying on makeup it's definitely something that i feel like has brought a lot of you guys to my channel so it's definitely a skill that i i'm really proud of you know i'm really proud of my makeup skills i definitely feel like now i am um, one of those bitches that just wears neutrals all the damn time. I always used to look at my older sister and be like, why do you need so many shades of brown? Isn't all browns the same type of brown? Like, why don't you want to put on any colour? Why don't you spice up your life a little bit? Because I used to be one of those girls that just wears like crazy cut creases to the library. I definitely feel like now that I'm getting older, there's more to life than just makeup. There was one point where all I wanted to do was just buy loads and loads of makeup, but now I'm kind of wanting to buy other things like technology and things to improve my work life things to improve my home life but yeah i feel like that's just a part of growing you know there was a time where i was obsessed about stickers i used to collect stickers but now I don't really collect stickers anymore, but I can definitely still appreciate it. So it's kind of like that, I guess. I don't think that I would ever grow out of makeup, but I definitely feel like in the future when I have kids and stuff, it just wouldn't be as big of a priority for me. And that's just what they call life. I feel like it's getting darker and darker in the background. It is 12 p.m., okay? I don't know why it's so dark and gloomy outside. Okay, another assumption is yours and Graham's relationship has got better since you've moved out. And yes! Me and Grant, we've been together for so long now, guys. This year will be our 13th year together. Like, one, three, 13 years together. Like, I can't believe that our anniversary is on the 9th of September. I honestly thought, like, we kind of knew everything about each other already. There's really nothing else to unlock with our relationship. I feel like that's why I... I'm not really that bothered about marriage because I feel like we've been together for so long now. Like, what is that going to change? Moving out and just living together, it's just so crazy. I was asking my friend Ling, like, has anything changed since you bought a new house together and stuff? She's like, no, not really, you know, because they've always kind of rented together. But for me and Gran, we've always lived at home with our parents. We've never had our alone kind of space. I never really thought, like, that was a big thing in our relationship. Like, we never really had a lot of privacy and stuff like that. It was never really a problem, to be honest. I never never really thought we really needed our own space and stuff only and probably until like the last few months of us would get really frustrated that we couldn't find a house and stuff I just felt like oh I just can't wait to have my own space not even space for us two but space for myself because I felt like I just had so much stuff and I was living on top of myself that definitely weighed on our relationship because I just felt so negative all the time but now that we have so much more space just that connection of you purchased this together you're doing this together and he has definitely like stepped up it's been really nice to watch actually like grand fixing things for me i'm such an acts of service type of person so when someone does something for me or does something for our relationship it just makes me like love them 10 times more for me that's how you really show that you love someone is through acts of service like it's such a big thing for me if you guys haven't done the love language test 100 do it like go and google it after this video because it's so life-changing like when you find out the other person's love language and also seeing how they show their love it's definitely a game changer in your relationship i feel like since moving out like me and guys relationship has never been better like we've been connecting a lot more spending a lot more time together but it's also really nice to know that he's doing his own thing and i'm doing my own thing but we're on separate sides of the house and we still feel like we can come together and i still can't wait to spend time with him at the end of the day like watch a movie together however Graham has not watched a movie since being in his house every single time we watch a movie he's fucking falling asleep i just feel like we're just growing up together which I feel like is just such a nice thing that we're growing up together and not further apart and that's like one of my worst fears you know being together for so long and then just falling out of love or just growing in different directions that's like one of the fears that I have for me and Graham so it's so nice to know that we're going together along the same path and I feel like we're gonna get a little puppy soon and like grow our family soon which I feel like is so nice okay so the next assumption is such a cute one. Oh, it's so nice that people would have this assumption about me you're a down-to-earth and lovely person and fun to be around I love you so much thank you Zara so much that's such a sweet assumption I definitely feel like I am quite a fun person to be around I definitely am quite spontaneous I love to do fun things I'm like the organizer of the group if there's nothing to do I will probably be the one 
thinking of things to do. I just love talking. I struggle with making a connection to people that are quite closed. And I feel like, cause I'm quite an open book. If you are not open as well, I feel like we can only go so far in our relationship. That's why I feel like me and Danny have a really strong connection because we are so open with each other. We talk about anything. We can literally talk about why is the sky so blue to money, jobs, life. And I just love the fact that I can just say anything and not feel judged. I definitely am quite an inquisitive person. So I love hearing other people's opinions and other people's thoughts on things. And that's how I make a connection when I can have those type of conversations with people. As long as you are the person that is able to like speak and be open and honest and talk about your experiences or ask me questions and you don't mind me asking you questions, I definitely feel like I'm quite a fun person to be around. I feel like there won't ever be a dull moment because I'm always just talking. I could talk about anything, honestly. But if you are quite a closed person and quite a private person and you don't really like to talk about yourself, that's when I feel like I really struggle to make a connection. Otherwise, I'm just like, okay, well, what do we talk about? How nice the weather is like all of that kind of small talk that is never gonna make me feel like I'm connected to you as long as you're quite open and quite fun and you're quite open-minded then yes we're gonna have a good time but if you are quite conservative you're really quiet I feel like I'm drawing blood out of a stone with you that's when we're probably not gonna have a very fun time okay so I'm just putting on a pair of lashes this is from Vive and it's their half lash okay so another assumption is you are rich but you spent all of your money on your house I've definitely spent all of my savings on this house. Before, I never really used to take up money from my company, but now I need to actually start paying myself a salary. I need to start paying for a lot more things now, so now I have to actually set up like a proper payroll and stuff. At first, I definitely feel like that gave me a lot of anxiety thinking about that, but now, I don't know why. I think it's because we had a talk with our accountant. Now, I just feel like this is what real life is, and I feel like before, I wasn't really living real life because I always kind of lived at home with my mum. Why is my necklace all tangled up together? And also the assumption about I'm rich. I was talking to Danny the other day and I was just saying like people's opinion of what rich is is so vast depending on who you ask. Some people literally having a hundred pounds is rich to them, you know? To Jeff Bezos, a million pounds, they're probably like, what's a million pounds? My definition of rich is when you have a wide property investment portfolio, you have a couple of businesses, you have a big company where you have loads of staff members, Members. At the moment, it's just basically me and Grang, and then my sister comes here sometimes, you know? So I definitely feel like I'm not there yet, but I want to be rich one day, and that is my goal. You know, I want to be financially stable. I want to be able to bring kids up in this world where I don't have to think about money. Like, I don't know why. When I think about money, sometimes I feel like it's such a sad thing. So many people would have such better lives if they just had a little bit more money, and it's such a shame that people can't live the life that they're meant to live because of something called money oh it's so annoying that it's such like a big important thing you know that's why they have the saying that money makes the world go round i can say i'm not struggling which is a blessing that like, i'm so grateful to be okay where if i want to go to a restaurant and there's anything that i want to order let's just say anything 20 pounds and under i don't mind buying it there was a point before where if i wanted to go to westville shopping center i wouldn't want to go there because i had to pay for parking now i can go to westville shopping center now and i don't mind paying for parking i never ever want to lose that mindset of just remembering how lucky i am i'm trying to do my lip liner while i'm talking and i'm just like getting everywhere i never want to get to that point where i'm just being frivolous with money I always will remember the times where I didn't have anything to my name and remember that feeling of how hard it was so I never ever ever want to be in that position again I'm using this lipstick called Empress it's from Huda Beauty and it's more of like her cream kind of lipstick so it's nice and glossy I never want to get to the point where I'm so frivolous with money and I don't appreciate it there was a time where your girl was broke I had to always think about Spending this, spending that, and feeling so guilty. That is my philosophy on money. It's something to take very seriously. It's something that you should always be on top of, your finances. Of course, you want to live life as well. I feel like before I wasn't really living. I was just like saving, saving, saving. And I wasn't enjoying my money and enjoying life. But I definitely feel like now I'm at the point where I can save, of course, still, but also enjoy life. It's a really nice place to be. And also, I always feel so grateful, like every week when I'm able to come 
come home from a food shop and stock up my fridge and be like, wow, I have a roof over my head and food in the fridge. That's when you feel like you've made it in life. That makes me feel so happy that I'm even able to do that because I know a lot of people around the world aren't able to even drink like clean water. So I always feel like appreciation is always the way that you can just change your mental attitude whenever you're feeling a bit shitty that day. Just remember all the things that you are grateful of, the things that you have achieved. Yeah, I'm going to leave the YouTube video here on that note. Thank you guys so much for just sticking it out with me. Like I know this YouTube video was a bit shit. There was nothing really here for you guys to look at. This wasn't really much of a makeup tutorial, but I just wanted to catch up with you guys and just have like a little heart to heart. And I love filming chatty videos like this. Like these are the type of videos that I love putting on in the background while I'm getting ready and just hearing people's thoughts and opinions and a girl chat, life update, all that kind of stuff. So please give me a little thumbs up if you guys want me to film more videos like this. I definitely want to film like more chatty videos, more cook with me videos, more lifestyle videos, more fashion hauls. I also really want to film another try on video with my sisters. I know how much you guys love it when me and my sister are together. So I'm thinking to film a Skims try on haul. But let me know if there's anything in particular that you guys want us to try from Skims. Let me know if you guys want to see that down below in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for just liking, commenting, even watching this video. I feel like recently I've been trying to push my videos and trying to stay consistent on YouTube. But I feel like YouTube is just not pushing my channel out to a wider audience. It would really, really help me if you guys gave this video a little thumbs up. Just a little comment, just a little emoji down below that just shows YouTube that you guys are engaged, that you guys like videos like this and it will push my little YouTube channel out to a bigger audience and we can grow this channel together. Thank you guys so much for watching any of the ads so far. That means the world to me. You know your girl needs to buy some furniture up in here. And that's it for this YouTube video, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Ugh, I have such bad allergies at the moment, the hay fever, the pollen. It's just going wild, okay? And living out in the countryside, I've definitely noticed my hay fever has gone from like 50 to 150. I have a feeling it's gonna be like the milk. What is that primer called? Grip primer? Hydro grip? Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be all over the place. Okay, so fa 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 it's been so long since I filmed a makeup video, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just hide my card before anyone comes and try to scam my ass, okay? Pessimistic, pessimistic. Pepper the pig. My nose is running like a bitch. It's shiny up in there. Water dripping out of a tap in there. I think I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup like this. Oh God, you see that booger? Oh God, oh my God, I feel like I need to blow my nose. <laughs> I tried to do that off camera because that was disgusting. I should have done this before I done my foundation because now look, I'm stained. My nose is running so bad. It's like a tap. I've taken my hay fever medication today, but it's not kicking in yet. Okay, let's go in. Okay, you want to play this game? Okay, okay. Let me just roll up. With you. Hold, hold me back. Take, take my earrings, girl. Hold me back. Oh my God, I keep picking my nose. I'm so sorry, guys. This is the video of like Twee picking her nose. God damn it. It's just this one nostril that's just like pumping. I wish I was one of those girls that got ready every single day. But unfortunately, I'm the girl with like greasy hair, always in a bun with a shiny ass face, wearing pajamas all the time. It's like the Gemini, you know, you get Jekyll and Hyde. You don't know who you're going to get that day. Okay, bye. I'm going to go edit now. Yay. Sunday's so fun for me. <laughs>